Well, let's, how's this for a segue? Speaking of baseball, Wes, <laughs> you know, since last season, the Indians have traded Trevor Bauer and Corey Kluber, and so deep were their reserves in starting pitching and so acute were their needs elsewhere, they weren't really looking to get younger starting pitching in return in those deals. While the rotation remains a strength, injuries to Mike Clevenger and Carlos Carrasco this spring underscore how quickly a strength can be negated. This organization has lately and consistently developed good young pitching. But if you lose Clevenger or Carrasco or Shane Bieber for any length of time, winning the division becomes much, much more difficult. This is one of the best front offices in baseball in my mind, but I'm not sure I'd pick the Indians to beat the Twins yet in 2020. If the roster is better than last year, in my estimation, it's only slightly better. And my overall sense is that the pitching will not only have to be healthy, but great for the Indians to get back to where they were even two years ago. So right now, Les, I'm picking them second. 88 wins. And I haven't been wrong since, well, <laughs> the last time I predicted anything. <laughs> You don't, you don't think uh, Chicago's even more improved? I do think they're more improved. I just think they're really young yet. Yeah. And, um, and I, I think, that, listen, I think Francona is one of the best managers in the game. Um, I think the infield looks pretty good. Wouldn't you agree with that? Yes. And starting rotation still looks pretty good. But, um, I mean, just look at what they've lost over last year. I mean, you, you lose Bauer and Kluber. And yeah. I know Kluber. You don't know what Kluber me, was Kluber wasn't you. Kluber last year. Yeah. But. Um, that's, you know, those are two guys that ate up a lot of innings and it's going to be, you know, in, incumbent on this group now and, with, and who showed themselves, I thought, fairly well last year in, in what was a pennant race to repeat that. And that's not always well, the easiest thing to do. Well, they actually got pitching from everybody. I mean, <clears throat> Savali and, and uh, Bieber. Plezak and, Plezak and so on. Yeah. Uh, Jeffrey Rodriguez, not so much, but... Yeah. Um, I mean, you bring up three guys like that, you hope one of them does real well. You don't expect all three, and for the most part, the three did well. Yeah, when, when, when uh, Adam and I were talking about the Indians, uh, um, you know, he, we talked about the Lindor thing, and he thinks the money is there for them to sign him, right? And he well, said— Am I right? Th is it right that he thinks that? Yes. Yeah, and, and we, so we, we debated that a little bit because I think, you know, I've heard this people say— if they sign Francisco Lindor, the Dolans have a free pass now with the fan base. The fan base will never be able to criticize anything they do. And I'm thinking, okay, well, how about a year later if Clevenger ends Wants up out. not being able to get signed because he yeah. wants $25 million a year and Bieber wants 18 or $20 million a year when it's time for him right. and Jose Ramirez knows that he's on a friendly con team-friendly contract right now and he wants more. And, you know, what happens then? Is, are, are fans going to go, oh, yeah, just let those guys go. We've got Frankie Lindor. I don't think so. I, I used to think not that long ago that had they won in, in 16 or maybe before that somewhere along the line, that would have bought them the free pass. But, no, we're so used to being edgy and nervous about these things. I, I don't, it might buy you a pass for a little bit, but not a long time. Yeah, and I think they, the flip side of that is that I think they'll get slammed by the fan base if they don't. If they don't. But I'm not sure. They're not it, commensurate. It, with, I'm not sure they, they sign, sign Lindor and say, oh, phew, boy, we're home free now with the fan base for the next eight years. I don't Go think to that, that booth and buy tickets right <laughs> over there, 